what is up people of YouTube today I've got a really cool tutorial and also some news about this channel so uh, let's stay tuned okay um, today we're gonna do some high-res circuit board pictures and uh, I got you with the pictures the link I'll just put that in the description no need to try to stare at my screen and copy it but um, let's get straight to it first of all you're gonna need a, a text that's pretty much bold and thick you want a text that you could put something in and you'll understand what it is not some skinny text so um let's open it up to about 400 pixels or yeah maybe a little bit less than 400 pixels yeah let's try 200 um the text that i use is something cane so let's look it up cane okay i guess it's just cane so um let's look up Let's just uh, write, I don't know, um, I, D, K. Then obviously you want it to be um, not white or your foreground color. So for this, I'll just make it black so we can tell. But what we are going to do is we're going to drop a circuit board behind this text, okay? So um, first of all, let's go over here and let's resize it down to the image. Faster way than just going to the text. So, um, boom. There we go. Alright. So, um, let's rasterize type. Boom. Right click on the, the, the picture, not IDK part, because that's just going to give you different settings. Right click on it, select pixels. Alright. Press your shortcut W or go to, um, your quick selection. Let's tone this down a little bit right click on a Mac I don't know I, I on my Mac is two fingers so just do that and um let's see hmm let's go to select inverse and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our circuit board now so file place and um, let's get our circuit board let's go to downloads And boom, we have our circuit board place. Let's make it big enough so it'll obviously fit the text. And uh, you can make it what you want. And maybe you don't want this um, lines, but it doesn't matter to me right now. So anyways, let's uh, t take the visibility off. Okay, you could be slow too, computer. It's cool. Alright, so um first of all, rasterize layer. You don't want it to be one of those smart layers. Alright, now you could take the uh visibility off. Go back over here and do what you just did, sorry. Select pixels, make sure on your magic wand tool, right click, select the inverse. Now um let's go make this visible again, and you're gonna see it's uh obviously like type. And of course, if we're on the right layer, this will work. But if not, I don't see it happening. And boom. But that's not the end of the tutorial, though. Haha. -ha. All right, so we got that. Let's get our brush tool. And um, maybe you can't see it from here, but it's pretty obvious. <laughs> so, um, you know what? It would have been easier if I just deleted that layer. Wow. Anyways, so let's go back to our text, right? So we want to look like the text is actually going inside the white. So what you want to do is double click on it, and it's going to give us all these uh, styles and blending options, okay? So uh, let's go to Inner Shadow, press it. Uh, let's take it back to 90 around there. There you go. Now you just gotta mess with the distance to whatever you like. I mean, I guess 13 isn't bad. Let's head it to 11. Uh, the choke to six and uh, the size 32. Now it looks like it's in there a little bit more. And I mean, you can mess with the contour to see what you like. I mean, you could do that. That doesn't look too well. That, eh, nah. 
Alright, so I think we could all decide that we have that there. And um basically that's it. It's so easy, but I mean it gives you a cool effect to your text. Um reason why I showed you this because I'm actually in a contest, but uh, it's probably gonna end soon anyways, but um Well Really should have got this ready before I made this video. Anyways, I made a contest and um I made a shirt design. It was pretty much this and a lot of people say it was pretty cool, so decided to do it um see if it's on the desktop still no it is not so um well anyways i guess this concludes the tutorial anyways the news i was going to tell you was that um stay tuned i'm going to have a lot of new videos coming up i want to make a, a strong channel i want to hit a thousand subscribers but uh let's see how that goes um a lot of people on youtube having fun with those partnerships and stuff so i uh, want to join the fun with some photoshop because that's probably the best thing I'm good at. So um, if you are a subscriber to this channel, just stay tuned. You're going to have a lot of cool tutorials coming up. And um, thanks. Please hang up and try again. Hey, remember you can follow me on Twitter too. It's um, at Jason2Inspire. I'll play it on the screen. And uh, thanks for watching.